सबको भगवान की हम सेवा में लगाएंगे इसलिए प्रभु जी खूब ठाट बार से रहते थे किस लिए गवर्नर राष्ट्रपति और बड़े बड़े लोग उनकी कथा सुनेंगे नहीं तो वो सब नहीं आएंगे यदि फक्कड़ जैसे हम रहेंगे तो ये लोग आएगा ये कोई नहीं आएगा इसलिए प्रभु ने एक नई सिस्टम बनाया ये साधारण लोगों को भी बड़े बड़े पढ़े लिखे लोगों को भी भगवान के भजन में लगा यदि स्वामी जी नहीं जाते तो ये सब लोगों को पकड़ करके कौन लाता और ठाट बाट से नहीं जाते एरोप्लेन से नहीं जाते नहीं घूमते तो इतने देशों में कैसे प्रचार होता इसलिए इसकी जरूरत है इसलिए साधु कैसे बेस से नहीं विचारों से साधु है वट आई टोल्ड साधु मीन्स वन हुज गॉट लॉन्ग हेयर्स हु इज रबिंग भस्म दैट इज Ash uh, around his body, living away from the uh, din and bustle of the city inside the jungle, and uh, who does not wear many clothes, and nearly he lives naked. So this is, means he is sadhu. Hmm? <laughs> and uh, doing bum and bum bum bum, and even also. Uh, बट सो वंस व्हाट हैपन व्हेन इन 1947 ही वाज सिटिंग विद हिज गुरुदेव एंड देन अ वेरी सुना करके जाइए एरिस्टोक्रेट जेंटलमैन सूटेड इन वाइट ड्रेस इंग्लिश ड्रेस केम इन द असेंबली ऑफ हिज गुरुदेव and then his guru dev got up and welcomed him very warmly and he said how come he can also be a sadhu such a well suited booted person then guru dev said since then his concept was changed this is the <coughs> this is my first meeting with abhay babu. babu and this was I the new revolutionary abhay idea. babu but at last i used to realize that he is sadhu because all sanyasis are on his respect giving so much respect so, so he was abhay babu but no he was sadhu and uh, guru, guru maharaj is saying that this was the revolutionary idea inducted to us by shri prabhu pad he said that prabhu pad has introduced this thing that if we have to preach in aeroplane and western countries we will go in aeroplane and preach earlier this was not the idea shri prabhu pad has given this idea that if anyone will cross the sea and then he will be deviated from indian culture tribal culture and he will have to uh, give up indian this if he is brahmin he will be non brahmin like sutra This was the concept that crossing the sea means giving up the Indian culture and uh, purity. He will become contaminated. No, sadhu does not mean to cross the sea. This was the old orthodox concept. Shri Prabhu Pad said that we will show the whole world how the all new inventions can be used in service of Lord. We will use even aeroplane to serve Krishna. So this was the concept given by Shri Prabhu Pad and. Uh, the uh, shil bhakti siddhant sar se thakur prabhu pad and uh, then uh, guru dev said uh, we can that is why shil prabhu pad was also living in a very uh, thaat baat thaat baat means in aristocratic manner oh ho mo ye so description so just very quickly i'll try and say something 
Saraswati Goswami Maharaj started to put into action. And then what, who we call Srila Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj actually spread it so far and wide in such a, a broad and vast way he fulfilled the desire of his Guru Maharaj and he distributed uh, Krishna consciousness all over the world. He crossed the ocean, and as Srila Gurudev just said, what that meant to us was that he crossed all social barriers and customs and made himself so intimately available for the lower types of men. Surely this is Nitai Gauranga Mahaprabhu's grace. He was empowered, and hearing my dear God brothers and God sisters speak today, um, I felt so purified in being able to remember him. He allowed, uh, sorry, he laid such a phenomenal foundation that the whole theistic concept which is going to be built upon that can never be shaken. And if the individual devotees only build a small hut on that foundation, it'll be a wonderful hut, no harm. And by the grace of the Lord, if they build a great palace in their conceptions, that is all the more better. He introduced to the Western world, actually in that laying of the foundation, two things he wanted to smash. One was Mayavad, and in all his books, he hammered it so hard so much so that now when the Western devotees hear the word Mayavad, practically they take it as a swear word. And also Kami life and all of these things, now we have some familiarity. So very I know briefly, that Indians don't, don't uh, hmm, know the meaning of Mayavad. But we do. But all Western. At once Mayabad and they will quickly realize what is Mayabad. Yes. But Indians know. Even the devotee taking initiation, oh, most of them they don't know Mayabad. <laughs> so, there are so many things to say and there's no time to say it as usual. But we owe him our life. And I was thinking today, in the association of my friends that every day I forget him. He is supporting the very foundation. Our whole lives, actually, I feel, is resting in his hands. Just as a child is playing in the house of his father and he's adventuring, just as like now we're adventuring in our divine search. We're associating, trying to associate and serve with higher types of sadhus, we're trying to render service, we're trying to conceive higher things and in this way our adventurous spirit in Krishna consciousness is allowed to go on. But who is holding us? Who is supporting us? In whose house are we doing this? I feel that Srila Swami Maharaj is supporting us and holding me in his hand at all times and this is his grace upon us. There's so much to say but I cannot say it. Oh, very, very, thank you. <clears throat> One thing, very miracle he did, Swamiji. But, he went to Western and Eastern countries. He went to Af African countries, Muslim countries also. And so many disciples came. But told to do Kirtan of Bhakti Vinod Thakur Narottam Thakur Gaudiya Vaishnava. So they do these kirtans. And they know the meanings of the kirtans also. But I see that even oh, some devotees of Mathura, they cannot sing all the kirtans. 
the terms are anything. Even I see the devotees of Delhi also. Anywhere also. They cannot sing oh, all kirtans of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Narottam Thakur or any Gaudiya Vaishnava. Oh, very rare they are. Ura korte pare na. Ki korte pare na. Ura hoi je kirtan je Swami ji deshe videshe te. Goranga boli te hobe. Lokasari. Tarpare radhe jai jai madhava jai. He taught all everywhere. Even to Mohammedan. Everyone to all. And they are doing kirtans. I know that uh, when we are doing kirtan, all will or she and they do. But Bhatiyo ke liye ye bada bari kathin hai. Wo juna ne rat rakha hai, sun rakha hai, wohi kirtan karenge. Dekho, jadi maya baadiyo ke dvara banaya hua kirtan hai, karmi ke dvara banaya gaya kirtan hai, ya apne banaya hua kirtan hai, bhagwan nahi sunenge, laak koi kare. Sharanga sharnagati hoi be jahar, tahar prathna sunesi. Jinko unconditional surrender karke guru ke charano me ki yaar guru ki jinho ne seva ki hai. Aur bhagwan ke sharnagati hai, unke kirtan ko bhagwan sunte hai. Dousre kat, unko surtal lai man khub jante hai bhagwan. Unko surtal lai man se koi nahi prashand kara sakta. यदि हमारे महापुरुषों के द्वारा रूप गोस्वामी सनातन गोस्वामी हमारे रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी कृष्ण दास कविराज गोस्वामी नरोत्तम ठाकुर भक्ति मनोहर ठाकुर प्रेमानंद बहुत से ये सब हुआ गोविंद दास इनके किए हुए कीर्तन को करने से क्या होगा झट भगवान की कृपा होगी हम तो भगवान का नाम कोई भी नाम कर सकते हैं वी कैन चॉन्ट एनी नेम Narayan, Hari, Govinda, we can do. But what our Rishis, Marshis have invented? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. So, what the power of God has given us, there is no power of God, which is the 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 power of God. This is the power of God, which is the power of God. कौन हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण इसमें शक्ति है इसका कीर्तन करने से शरीर में भक्ति आएगी लोगों को भक्ति होगी भगवान की कृपा बरसेगी और अपने मन से आज यदि हम बना करके छाड़ा कीर्तन इत्यादि करें तो वो नहीं होगा इसलिए हम लोगों को स्वामी जी ने क्या किया पहली बात जाकर के किया जब वो न्यूयॉर्क में गए तो बैठ करके आंख बंद करके करताल केवल ले करके वेन ही वेंट टू न्यूयॉर्क इन दैट टॉमकिंग स्क्वायर पार्क क्लोजिंग हिज आई एंड ही टूक हिज करताल श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा का गौर भक्त और हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण ऑल दे आर एट्रैक्टेड And he taught everywhere. Uh, Mali the songs of birth coming from our realized gurus. Usme shakti hoti hai. Aap log is chish ko sami. Ye unki especially. Africa ka, idhar America ka, England ka, Italy ka, Belgium ka, phir udhar mein. Kahan kahan ke log. Kintu kirtan ek hi. Goranga bali te hove pulo ka shari. और ऑल दिस साइड राधे जय जय माधव दई के और जय कुंज बिहारी लाइक दिस ऑल सो यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ही प्रोड्यूस ऐसे ही हम लोगों को विश्वास कर यदि उनका कीर्तन करेंगे हमारा कल्याण बहुत जल्दी हो जाए और अपने बनाने से प्रभु पा जी कहते जैसे वो ड्राम बजाओ जैसे कान में ना आए क्या वो कीर्तन निताई गौर अच्छा निताई नाम अथेंटिक भगवान का नाम है और गौर चंद्र भी कृष्ण का ही नाम है या कृष्ण महाप्रभु भगवान का स्वयं निताई गौर राधे 
अच्छा कितने नाम अच्छे अच्छे हैं किंतु प्रभुपाद कहते हैं ये कान में ना आए बजाओ जोर से डंडा वो तीन बजाओ हे टोल दैट ओ वी शुड नॉट हियर दिस कीर्तन एंड वी शुड वी टेक ड्रॉम दैट दिस वर्ड्स शुड नॉट कम हियर दो निताई गौ राधे श्याम दैट नेम ऑफ कृष्ण एंड महाप्रभु बट व्हाई प्रभुपाद डी बिकॉज़ देयर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग इन दिस सिद्धांत भजन निताई गौ राधे श्याम हो भज निताई गौर ओ तुम राधा कृष्ण भजन कर ओ निताई ओ गौर यू शुड भज राधा कृष्ण सो दो देर आर सो मेनी सो इन इन दीज सॉन्ग्स दो एनी वन मेक्स इट और सो मेनी रस रसा दुष्ट एंड आउट ऑफ सिद्धांत इट इज श्योरली टू कम सो फाइव वीट न शुड चांट दैट mantra uh, i think that uh, in any more melody in any melody whether is indian or telugu tamil english any in all melody melody krishna naam sang hare krishna hare krishna can be sung what i want to tell what i told yo 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 sir <coughs> But I told you that the Krishna Nam Hari Krishna Maha Mantra can be sung in any melody. Doesn't matter whether it is from the West, America, or whether it is from India or anywhere. Oh, Krishna Das can sing it in all oh, hundreds melody. New, new. In any melody and any way, anyone can sing. So it is, it is what uh, manifested by himself, Krishna. So yes, sir, sir, को कीर्तन करना चाहिए और जीवन को परबात नहीं करना चाहिए. Swami ji ji ne chhod diya. Then, who? Oh, Upananda Prabhu, a oh, very senior devotee. Oh, you should come and speak. Something. बिना गुरु की सेवा के कोई भी गुरु नहीं हो सकता और उसके बचनों का कोई भी मूल्य नहीं विदाउट दिस ऑफिस ऑफ गुरु एनी वन कैनॉट बी गुरु नेवर दो आर गुरु दे हैव सर्व दे आर गुरु एंड देन दे हैव बिकम हाई क्लास ऑफ गुरु अदर वेरी I also ask for the same number of bhakti to be sincere with the Lord's feet of my Sikh Guru, the Divine Grace, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Narayan Maharaj. When Maharaj asked previously why somebody joined, I also looked back in the 1960s when I was living in the United States, and at that time, I see that. There was no future. Um, young people had rejected the modus operandi of civilization, and out of frustration, great frustration, had taken them to many uh, weird and strange activities, experimental lives, uh, and at that time, which was the prime time. Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada had vented himself, so he seemed to be at the right place, uh, New York City. Uh, I remember <coughs> when I was in Connecticut, there was a great attraction for the East Village in New York. There were so many new things coming out, um, different kind of cafes, and of course, a um, whole drug world was being created. Allen Ginsberg was very popular. And many kinds of weird bands and new music. Prabhupada bought his own music, and he fit in just at the right place, and it started. It was like a spark that hit dry grass. And from New York, he went to San Francisco. Seattle, 
Montreal, Los Angeles. After that, it was just like dominoes. He would send people to different locations. And I also think back, I thought, wow, I was so surrendered then. I was only so much surrendered now. Um, we would be told to go start a center and take a box of books with 200 magazines, find a place, and begin preaching. Sri Prabhupada said that without preaching, my mission will be finished in a very short time, two years. So today I'm very happy because without the mercy of the pure devotee, my life would be uh, empty and worthless and without any hope whatsoever. Uh, at the same time, I'm a little depressed because I know the, the body of my guru was put into samadhi uh, by Shri Guru Dev with his loving hands on the order of my Guru Maharaj. He arranged the whole Mahotsav then spoke to the devotees, committed himself to help, and even went out to Bombay to help retain what Prabhupada had proliferated and gained as his property while his son was trying to take it away. So it hurts my heart that my own god brothers have not recognized such a great soul and if it was my decision I would certainly be the first one to invite Maharaj to Sri Prabhupada's to Samadhi to perform his tuba. Now one last thing I wanted to say is regarding the institution and organized religion because <coughs> Prabhupada did establish his con but I have seen and others have seen that without the direct guidance of a living Mahabhagwa, a pure devotee, an institution can become gradually decrepit and useless. There must be that expert, perfect guidance from one who is in touch with the Supreme. There is nothing wrong with an institution, organized religion, as long as the one who is at the top of that institution is directly guided by Krishna. Otherwise, there's only one mistake after another. And Prabhupada collected us and used to call us dancing elephants, dancing white elephants. And I myself, I feel like a monkey because there were so many mistakes we made. And Prabhupada, I always contrast him with Sri Ramanayan Raj because Shri Prabhupada would yell, he didn't do things right. He was on your case. And being very timid, I was always very afraid that I would make a mistake. And uh, I did make so many mistakes. And I know when I told devotees one year that I had made a poster with the help of uh, our sannyasi, when Prabhupada first came to Australia, and it was, uh, I thought, a beautiful poster. Many people came. When Prabhupada looked at the poster after his town hall engagement, he looked at the words and looked at us and said, well, where is my name? <laughs> <laughs> and we had put, Jagat Guru comes to Australia. It sounded good, but <laughs> it just didn't. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. What are the duties of a Pakka disciple? Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Sthapitam Jaina Bhutale Shwaeng Rupa Kadam Bhayam Dadat Shapatantika. Why we honor Rupa Goswami? Because he fulfilled the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So if anyone 
is fulfilling the desire of his Guru Dev, then really he is disciple, otherwise not. Abhay Charanath Prabhu, he left his business, his everything, to serve Srila, his Guru Dev. Not only, he took sannyas also. And after that he crossed the sea with nothing, nishkinchan, without any farthing, he went to western countries. And you know how he preached his mission? What he did? Why he honor him? Because he fulfilled the mission of his Guru Dev. I have not heard that he cooked for him, never. He had no chance to cook his food, to wash his clothes, but even what he did, he was never with his Gurudev. Oh, he used to come for one day, two days, three days, and associating with him, and then return to his bed. But what he did? To fulfill his desire, which anyone can, a very rare person can do, he translated Gita, translated Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chaitamita, and so many books, and preached in the whole world his mission. I think that his Gurudev, very, very satisfied by this. This is Manobhishta Seva. <coughs> the if disciple does not know what is the Manobhishta of his Gurudev, and he is not following and not doing, then he is not disciple. What sevak nahi kya hai? Bak hai. Bak mein hai? In Hindi language, there is three letters. She, wa, ka. Hai na? Seva. So, jo apne guru ji ki manofist seva nahi karta hai, to wo kya hai? Jo guru ji ji ke kane se bhi nahi karta hai, अपने मन से तो नहीं करता वो तो दूसरी बात अपने मन से नहीं करता गुरु जी की अभिलाषा जान करके वैसा जैसे महा रूप गोस्वामी ने महाप्रभु जी की इच्छा जानी इफ ए गुरु देव इज गिविंग ऑर्डर एंड ही इज फॉलोइंग ही इज कनिष्ठ एंड इफ एनी वन हैविंग एनी हिंग ऑफ गुरु देव एंड ही इज सर्विंग ही इज मध्यम एंड दोस विदाउट आस्किंग विदाउट ऑर्डरिंग they know the will, desire of Gurudev and falling. At once doing, completing, then he is Uttam Seva. But those who, even by telling, ordering, they are not doing. They are not knowing what he did once, what is his desire. Then see, he is like Boko. Bok means crane, standing on one leg. It means that he is doing austerity. He never speaks. Mauna Pratha. And he is standing on one feet. Ek pair par khada ho karke, dhyanast ho karke. Asha, it's a big deal. He is a very great sadhu. But what he is doing? His whole meditation is for fish. If any fish comes, and at once, like this. So, we should know of what Swamiji did. He fulfilled his desire everywhere he preached the mission of his Gurudev. And his Gurudev was very, he is, even today, his Gurudev is very happy. So, we should know that we should try to know and to know, after knowing, we should try to fulfill the desire of his Gurudev. That is the real disciple. And Swamiji did it. So we honor him. Next. Oh. What? Oh, Rukmavati. Where is Rukmavati? Very senior. She and then you or oh, you should come. Ladini Shakti. Oh. He, her name? Ladini Shakti. Very good. Who gave you this name? Swamiji? 
your guru there very good you are lucky aap logo ko lotna to nahi aaj to deri se bhi apni gaadi hai na prasad yahi par hamara rahega aur aap log phir jayenge thoda sa kirtan karenge और हमारे जैसे ये कीर्तन है ना गौरांग बोली थे ये महाप्रभु जी का कीर्तन इत्यादि वो थोड़ा सा सीखिए आपका गला भी सार्थक हो जाए और अपने जो गाएंगे ना उसमें कुछ गलती रहती है और आप लोग हमसे बीच बीच में मिलिए नहीं मिलने से आप कमजोर हो जाएंगे इसलिए जरूर हमसे मिलिए नौ Um, I said, "Guru Dev, Salam Prabhu Pat." I'm a, myself um, no worth it whatsoever. But if I can uh, glorify in a little way um, uh, Guru Dev, Salam Prabhu Pat, then I'm very, very happy. So um, I was one of the babies, I guess, uh, that they left out. Prabhupada left out, so I was very, very young in age and a very new devotee also when Prabhupada uh, left. And um, that is a sad story in a way because uh, for so many, many years, maybe lifetimes, I was hoping to meet that person that knows it all and that it can give me the absolute truth. Um, I knew that I was, for many, many lifetimes, uh, wondering who I was and what I was supposed to be doing here in this material world. I knew that there was something more than just simply suffering, suffering the conditioning of thinking that I'm this body and this is mine. <coughs> and um, so, um, I was very young, 18 years old, when uh, finally um, I came to, to meet uh, Sila Prabhupada on, through his service. Um, Sila Prabhupada, what he gave us, it, he gave us the knowledge of how to um, learn, how to serve, how to serve Guru Dev, how to very deeply in our heart have always, doesn't matter how difficult it may appear to serve the pure devotee, always very eagerly, doesn't matter how many difficulties may be there, to keep praying to Krishna, please Krishna, I want to one day being able to uh, follow your example and, and do some service. Um, <coughs> And then my life we will make uh, some sense. Uh, we know that Sila Prabhupada, he was, or, or he is actually a very intimate servant of Srimati Radharani and also the goddess of fortune. <coughs> Wherever he was, the goddess of fortune was there, um, uh, helping him through. Um, he especially. Um, was invested with so much faith and so much love inside his heart towards Sri Matira Dharani that um, it was like uh, he wanted to fulfill that desire that Radharani wanted to give to every fallen living entity in this material world in Kali Yuga the chance to learn what love for Krishna is. Um, in the Western world, we were very or impersonalist or we very attached to enjoy our senses and uh, most important <laughs> is me who i am and gratify my senses with everything that it is around us and um, through guru dev we understood that actually real pleasure comes when we can left our desires away or identification and thinking, oh, I'm so important, to actually realize that we are nothing and nobody if we don't understand our relationship with Krishna. 
we must understand that uh, we belong to Krishna, that we are a spirit soul, part and parcel of God, and we actually, well, we don't have anything. That independent than Krishna, we don't have anything. We are not anything. Um, whatever we have, any intelligence, any wealth, any fame, or anything that we may have, actually is not ours. We don't have anything because everything belongs to Him. So, actually, Sila Prabhupada help us to understand that we don't have anything to offer or to give to Krishna because He owes everything. And so, um, He teaches how to simply become beggars. We beg for His mercy. We beg that we may um, do a little bit of service that he may give us a little bit of intelligence on how to, we can serve him. That we may give whatever we get, um, it doesn't belong to us. So there is no way that we can repay anything to Krishna or to Gurudev, Sila Prabhupada, or to Gurudev. Because we don't know and we don't have. So we just simply beggars. So Gurudev Prabhupada, um, he gave us that knowledge. And then um, right now, uh, Sila Gurudev Narayan Maharaj is under, under, uh, under the, the company or with the company, with the eternal company of uh, Prabhupada, Sila Prabhupada is taken us by the hand where we couldn't go anymore, we couldn't follow anymore. We wanted so bad to so Prabhupada, but we just couldn't do it. And, 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 and so we try and try and we commit so many, so many mistakes and, and fall in Maya so many ways and learning a tiny little bit, but there was no hope, no hope for us going anywhere. And then, um, so, Krishna or Sila Prabhupada understanding our desire and seeing us so lost, seeing me so lost and with very strong desire but not knowing what to do, then he brought us to Narayan Maharaj and empowered him and inspired him, please keep doing my work because these people are totally lost, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Also, Swamiji, in his last day, last day, after speaking me, he could not speak, I spoke with anybody. Last. He told that uh, you should give my samadhi. I want, requested. And he told that uh, you should help my disciples. In all ways, I brought them but I could not try it. So I request you to help me. I told that I will surely follow your orders. And I did. Why? One thing I remember. Uh, there were two Babus. Pale two Babu the. Ek Binod Babu and Dusre Abhay Babu. Dono बहुत उच्च कोटि के घरों में धनी परिवार में ये जन्मे और अच्छा शांतिपूरी धोती और कमी और लाठी पेंट लेकर के चलने वाले ये दोनों बाप और दोनों में प्रीति हो सकता है स्वामी जी परम पूज्य सिद्धर महाराज इत्यादि को भी शिक्षा गुरु के रूप में लेते हैं किंतु बाबू ने बाबू को ही सन्यास गुरु के रूप में ग्रहण किया इसके भी कारण है ऐसे ही नहीं यदि श्रद्धा नहीं होती तो क्यों लेते कुछ उसमें गंभीर विचार हैं दरअसल वेरी मिस्टीरियस थॉट्स बिहाइंड दिस थिंग व्हाई वन बाबू टूक सन्यास how one Babu accepted his Siksha Guru or Sanyas Guru. So there is something mysterious. And that is why, oh, they know all these things. And that is why. He took Sanyas from our Guru Dev 
and then taking sannyas, he fulfilled the mission of his sannyas guru also and his oh, diksha guru Shila Prabhupada. इस तरह से उन्होंने विश्व में प्रचार किया नहीं तो नहीं प्रचार कर सकते यदि अपने गुरु की सेवा नहीं की दीक्षा गुरु शिक्षा गुरु सन्यास गुरु पहले इस कौन के लोग ये सन्यास गुरु का कोई महत्व नहीं दे ये तो बेस एक दे दिया बस हमने कहा जैसा मत सोचो ऐसे नहीं दिया सन्यास गुरु माने क्या गोपी भाव देना होता है सन्यास में भजन का जो सबसे अंतिम उद्देश्य होता है वो गुरु देता है उसको इसलिए साधारण नहीं है वो जो गुरु जिसको गोपी भेष और गोपी भाव दे जनरली द डिवोट इज ऑफ इज कॉन दे यूज टू थिंक दैट और सन्यास गुरु इज नथिंग नथिंग मल्ली ही गिव्स एंड दिस इज लाइक ए ऑर्डिनरी वर्ड फॉर्मेलिटी Perhaps Swami Ji has not given this mantra. He knew that uh, they are not uh, actually qualified for sannyas guru. Perhaps that is why he has not given. And that is why they don't know all these mysterious things, deep things. But actually, what is this? Sannyas guru is not formality. A very good mood, that gopi bhav. So, any disciple, sannyas shishya, will be kritavya uh, forever. Uh, for long, long, long lives. So, this was not formality. Actually, गुरुजी के प्रति उनका इतना आदर था जो सनातन को स्वामी का जो प्रणाम मंत्र है वो गुरुजी के लिए उन्होंने प्रयोग किया यू नो दैट ही यूज द सेम मंत्र ऑफ सनातन को स्वामी प्रणाम मंत्र टू अवर गुरुदेव व्हेन ही हर्ड द डिसअपीयरेंस द संवाद मैसेज इन न्यूयॉर्क और वेयर ही आई आई डोंट एंड दे एट वन से मीटिंग वाज कॉल्ड देयर and he made some resolutions and he sent to me in mathura oh very high class of thoughts were in that and he told what uh, vairagya yuga bhakti rasam prayatnai apayan manun bhikshamandam kripam budirja parat dukh dukhi shri ke samam aham ashrayam how he has regard for our gurudev that is why we have regard to son he has belief on me very strong belief he has written that oh i am we have you have and myself our relation our transcendent he has not written for anyone and that is why he told that it the shishya of our guru Shilapakti Pragyan Kesha Goswami Mahishav and he selected me to, for his samadhi and for all these things. And I am successful in my preaching. Why? Because of my Gurudev and because of Swami. Because he accepted me. I am so bold to tell that oh, only I am the disciple of Srila Bhakti Vedant Swami Maharaj. I cannot fall down. Never. Never. They may fall down. And I am glorifying Swami with my Gurudev. Everywhere. Bet jau. Bet. Tata ni ki kya jau. Bet jau. Jidam. Mat jau. Bet. क्या कर रहे थे ये बेकार की मथुरा की लड़कियां एवरी बैर आई एम गुलरीफाइंग एंड दैट इज वाई द डिवोट द डिसाइपल्स हु लेफ्ट द मिशन ऑफ एस्कॉन नो फेथ ऑन दिस कैन लीडर नाउ दे आर ग्रेजुअली कमिंग विथ वेरी वॉट इंस्पिरेशन दे आर कमिंग एंड दे आर नाउ प्रीचिंग इन द सेम इंस्पिरेशन एज एट द टाइम ऑफ स्वामी आई नो 
प्रतिपल्ला प्रभु तेज प्रभु ज्ञान दास प्रभु श्याम रानी और विथ अ न्यू इंस्पिरेशन आई दे हैव इंस्पिरेशन वेन वृंदावन बिलासिनी एंड श्याम रानी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल टीनी इज एट वेरी ब्यूटीफुल अट्रैक्टिव गर्ल्स and they used to go where in airports here and there to distribute books having no lajja shame and anything now my disciples are also going like this and doing also the disciples of swami ji are coming and inspired and then again they are doing in our parikrama you can see how many are coming from where and where <laughs> and you can see the loknath parikrama now or oh, five he was uh, at first of uh, 60 devotees with him doing parikrama and after that uh, in last days he has only five with him doing parikrama <laughs> and no inspiration no kirtan like this why it is coming because i saw my guru dev also and swami ji also so there is A special mercy is playing on me, and without this, their mercy, I was like a straw, dry straw, nothing else. So you should say that who will fulfill the desire of Guru Dev and serve him, or oh, he must be Guru and Acharya. They don't want Acharya see. They don't want to be a Guru, but even whole world will accept. Like Rupa Goswami has told, "Bacho begam mansha krodh begam jiva guru bhakt begam etan vigan jo abhishehit vira sarva ma pimam prathvi shastisya." So you can see all the things are in the character of Sri Bhakti Vedanta. More? Huh? Oh, Nirgun Prabhu should come. Can you come? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, he is very senior disciple, <coughs> and he served him personally hmm, for so many years. Then he became weak and weak when he departed, and then he married, and now he is but his very high class of devotee. Now he is fully inspired. Not only his whole family, even his dog. <laughs> and i honor his dog also i always take tilak ha tilak tilak i always ask him how my tilak is <laughs> oh my god as <laughs> mananda sha gana gana sakaya chakshu milita mena tash ma shri gurave namaha अपने कांचन अंगोरंगे राधा बिंदा बनेश्वर विश्वानु सुतेरी परमानंदी हरिप्रिय पांचिका चुवियस्ता कृपसंदेवी वचा पतितनाम पलाने बियो वैष्णवे बियो नमो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल आई लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस माय अप्रिशिएशन जस्ट टू बी हियर विथ ऑल सन वंडरफुल फैमिली मेंबर्स फॉर ओल्डर यंगर Thank you. Our friend and well wisher, Shilagude. I am hoping always to remain in this Saudi Sangha, birth after birth. Anything that we may have learned that is worthwhile in this life, we have learned from Ashila Kavupad. Um, some have, some are saying that actually we have left Shila Kavupad, but actually we are coming closer and closer. To our Guru Dev, by the help of Bhakti Vedanta Shri Narayan Raj, and it's like he is saying, we we were having some trouble and some difficulties, but um, by his association, we have become re-inspired to serve our Guru Dev. Um, I know that uh, we are simply insignificant, tiny living entities. And uh, but still, we we belong to Shri Shri Radha and Krishna. This is our eternal position. This is called Rishi Rishi Krishna. 
only only by Gurudev's mercy can we understand these things. Uh, Krishna consciousness is is such a wonderful and great thing. It is a is an ocean, and in this ocean, uh, there are, the devotees are are diving deep in this current of bhakti is running through them. Um, uh, I'm I'm simply unqualified, but I'm I have to express my happiness to be here. Bancha Kapitaviasa, Kripa Singhita, Patikana Kalanyalaj. That is enough because you have served him. And now again you are inspired to serve him. Krishna Bhajan, he should come. Krishna Bhajan Prabhu. Oh, keep it, please. Give up. You should take each other, I think. Oh, now wait a little, two minutes. You should sit there. Om Gyan Jamiram Nasya Gyanam Gyanam Shulakai Chakshurum Nilitam Gyan Tasmashin Gurubay Namah Who opened your eyes? Who opened your eyes? Gone. They're not yet open. <laughs> Half open. Half open. <laughs> I'm not qualified to speak. I I was the first ISKCON member to insult Frank Sinatra when I gave him the Sri Shapanishad. And he asked me what it was inside and I said I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Hari Bo, Hari Swamiji was uh, known to us in kind of a familiar way because we were all students working on higher degrees and uh, we lived together and we had pictures of Swamiji and Radha Krishna on the wall and also Jimi Hendrix and uh, all these other pictures as well. So we were uh, very Rasabas. And uh, we, we mixed all our pleasure with our some glorification of Swamiji. But in the, in the interim... You can use your Prabhupada or Guru, not Swami. In the interim, something happened and that that thing was that something real spoke to at least to me and some of the others we had there were ten of us living in a, an apartment and uh, and so things began to happen uh, our lives became a disaster very quickly and as it became a disaster then we began to look for how what's the way out and some went to Colombia and did cocaine for the next 20 years. And uh, some went to um, Krishnamurti. And some went to Buddhist camps. And I ended up in, in, a, in a forest somewhere trying to figure out what was going on, why all this disaster had come. And remembering how Prabhupada on every page of Bhagavad Gita was telling us to chant the holy name. And I, being a uh, Maha impersonalist, thought that what's the difference of chanting the holy name in Coca-Cola?